Hey, hey, Chloe Delandis here at Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, Connecticut. We're getting ready to kick off our tour. Come on. Sacred Heart University is located in suburban Fairfield, Connecticut, with close proximity to seven beaches and Fortune 500 companies. There's a playhouse in downtown Bridgeport. Um, there's a lot of great restaurants in Fairfield and Bridgeport. Um, the Harbor Yard, um, the baseball arena um, is fun. They have all events going on at all the time, so there's always there's always stuff to do around here. Shu is just an hour away from New York City and two and a half hours from Boston. We put Shu in front of everything here. It's SHU, Sacred Heart University. So we have Shootles and the supermarket and pretty much anything you can stick the word Shu in front of, we use it. <laughs> Shu is the second largest Catholic university in New England and it sits on 57 beautiful acres. They've recently opened a breathtaking new chapel and had a groundbreaking ceremony for the new state-of-the-art student center. And a fun fact, actually, is that we are called the Pioneers because we're the first school to be run by lay people. So we are a Catholic uh, university, but we don't actually have any kind of order, like Jesuit or things like that. We have a campus in Luxembourg, which is actually a great spot because from there, by high-speed train, you can be pretty much anywhere in Western Europe in under three hours. We also have a facility uh, on the Dingle Peninsula in Dingle, Ireland. Sacred Heart enrolls 3,500 full-time undergrads with a total enrollment of 6,100 students. The women outnumber the men, representing 60% of the student body, which is also 18% multicultural. Entrance into Sacred Heart is competitive, with most students ranking in the top 30% of their high school class. So do you beat the average? Typically, a student holds a 3.2 GPA. Are you service-oriented? That's the norm at Sacred Heart among students and faculty. Shu has ranked in the top five for Habitat for Humanity chapters in the U.S. and was also recognized by the President's Higher Education Community Service Honor Roll. We combine service with education uh, so that students leave here with an understanding that the education they receive in the classroom is a gift and they're to use that education to help others and to help to heal a broken world. All students expecting to attend Sacred Heart will pay $43,000 for tuition, room, board, and fees. There's definitely a lot to offer with scholarships. A new thing that we've been doing actually is adding grants to particular activities. So if you're interested in band, choir, theater, community service, those are all scholarship programs now, simply for getting involved. SHU offers over 42 different academic programs. A few student favorites are psychology, communications, physical therapy, and business, which is accredited by the AACSB and ranked in the top 5% in the nation. It's the John F. Welch College of Business, but we know him as Jack Welch, and he basically gave his name to the institution about two years ago after we became accredited. Basically, we send our resumes to, you know, uh, businesses they know who he is, and it's just a really good thing for the school and the students. Students are engaged both inside and outside the classroom. Research skills are instilled in undergrad classes, so they'll have experience as upperclassmen. I've had students do projects on, um, on our radio station, do projects on our Museum of Contemporary Art. Anything that I can get them involved in in a real life experience, we try to do it constantly. It's no wonder that nearly 100% of the graduating seniors receive a job or attend graduate school. Sacred Heart University employs 212 full-time faculty members. 75% of faculty have a PhD or terminal degree. I think students that come here will realize that the faculty are genuinely concerned with them as a person, not just as a student, and they have a passion for teaching their subject area, but most importantly, they have a passion for teaching students and believe in what they're doing and in the education of the whole person. I think the personal relationships are huge. The small class sizes, the professors really get to know you. You almost come out with a lot more friends with professors and students. So what's your favorite part about being here? Did you know that the Mighty Pioneers competed the NCAA Division I level and have 31 athletic teams? Join the Red Wave! Dorm life is really unique here. Um, for the freshmen, we have like typical dorm style buildings, but for the upperclassmen, um, starting sophomore year, we start easing you into more real world living situations. There are several residence hall options on SHU's campus with constant renovations to keep the facilities modern. Both cafeterias and gyms can be found within the dorms. Are your interests vast? With media groups, one of the largest intramural programs in the country, and Greek life, the choice is yours among the 80 clubs and organizations available. 
Want to get your Sacred Heart pumping? Well, you got to come to the gym to get strong. And did you know that Sacred Heart has really, really strong programs in music and performing arts? Perhaps that's where Sacred Heart alum Kevin Nealon of SNL fame got the acting bug. Other famous alumni include the CEO of Brooks Brothers and Yankee Candle Company and actor John Ratzenberger, who is the sixth most successful actor of all time. Thanks so much for joining University TV and our trip to Sacred Heart. I hope you enjoyed your visit. I'm Chloe DeLandis and I'll see you soon.